Meanwhile, Thailand's parliament will hold another vote for a prime minister next week. The vote cannot include a leader of election winners move forward. However, rivals derailed Peter Limjaran Rath's bid by blocking his renomination. The parliament's move sparked protests as a post-election crisis deepens two months after his party's surprise election triumph over military-backed rivals. Here's a look at the Thai political crisis. The popular progressive candidate Peter's attempt to succeed Prayuth Chanocha failed this week. Peter's prime ministerial bid was thwarted by military and pro-royalist lawmakers. Remember, Limjaran Rath won the most seats in May elections. The Thai parliament refused to grant Limjaran Rath a second vote to be the kingdom's prime minister. Thailand is no stranger to political unrest and Prayut Chanocha took power in a 2014 coup. Prayut, Prayut Chanocha's office said uh, the Prime Minister understood the frustration of Peter's supporters, but the Prime Minister also implored the public to move Thailand forward in a democratic way alongside the monarchy. So what's next for Peter and his party? Well, Peter was suspended from Parliament by the Constitutional Court. The case pertains to owing shares in a media company. Lawmakers are forbidden from doing so under Thailand's charter, though the television station in question has not broadcast since 2007. Lim Jaran Rath's move forward party has ridden high on support of young and urban Thais. Many Thais are frustrated by nearly a decade of army-backed rule, but Thailand's establishment vehemently opposes its agenda. The party has refused to compromise on pledge to revise Kingdom's royal defamation law, which can allow convicted critics of monarchy to be jailed for up to 15 years. Its reformist platform also poses a threat to family-owned business monopolies that play an outsized role in the Kingdom's economy. Peter has vowed to step aside to make way for another party to form a government. Now that is his attempt at the premiership has failed. The coalition backing him could fall in line behind property tycoon Srita Thavisin, potentially relegating the move forward party to serve in opposition. The property tycoon's Phu Thai party is seen as a vehicle for the Shinavatra political clan. The Shinavatra members include two former prime ministers ousted by military coups in 2006 and in 2014. Pravit Wongsuwan, a former army chief, has also been floated as a possible candidate for PM or a minister in a few Thai-led government. The 77-year-old served as Prayut Chanocha's number two after 2014.